Hi, welcome to St. James Winery. My name is Peter Hofer and I am the second generation owner and current CEO and chairman of the St. James Winery. We're so happy that you chose to spend some time with us today and we'd love to show you some of the legacy that my parents started in 1970 and we continue today. When you think of the sprawling vineyards and luxurious wines, Mid-Missouri is probably not the first place that comes to mind. The truth is, it really should be. The climate and rich soil here make the Missouri Merrimack Highlands ideal for harvesting world-renowned grapes and producing some of the finest wines you will ever enjoy. In fact, prior to Prohibition, Missouri was the second largest wine producing state in the United States of America. Once Prohibition went into effect, Missouri had to get creative with their vineyards. It was the Italian immigrants during the late 1800s that first started growing grapes in the Merrimack Highlands. These immigrants were essential to Missouri's wine industry. They brought with them their expertise and began growing grapes such as Concord. Then, instead of destroying their vines during Prohibition, they formed a fruit growers association. This strategy enabled them to continue to grow their fruit and sell their grapes to grocery stores in St. Louis, Missouri during and even after Prohibition. During World War II, Welch's Grape Juice received a government contract to supply the military with juice, jams, and jellies. When they sought out the best conquered grapes, they found our region and contracted to produce the fruit with the local Italian families. As a result, Merrimack Highlands thrived and we had over 2,000 acres of Concords in our area. Generations of families tended to their vineyards in an effort to not only meet the military demand, but after the war, continue to supply Welch's by shipping their produce down to Springdale, Arkansas, where the production plant was. My father, James Hofer, knew about the quality of the Concord grapes in the area. He knew that if he was able to make high quality wine out of those grapes, that he would have a successful business. There were only 300 wineries in the United States and my father knew that quality was going to be important for long-term success. So he knew this was the region to build his dreams in. It was my mother, Pat, who at the time when women were discouraged from business jobs, really saw the potential for a new family business. She encouraged my father to increase production and opened a tasting room in St. James, Missouri, along the famous Route 66. Over the years, we have grown from a small town winery, mainly catering to local tourists, to one of the top 10 most decorated wineries in the United States. Our modest family vineyard has expanded to over 185 acres that produce over 600,000 gallons of wine annually. We ship those 250,000 cases of wine that we produce all around the United States. The key to being a highly awarded winery is to continually improve our grapes and make them the best they can be and reflect the region in which they're grown in every wine we make. To my family, this means continual investment in research and development, continuing to look for grapes that grow well in our region, and providing the technology to make sure they're harvested at the correct time and achieve the highest quality. Through our growth, we've maintained our local roots. We still make wine the way my father intended for the St. James Winery family. Whether it's our heritage series, our unique frontier wines, our fruit wines, or even our exclusive winemaker series. We make something for every palate because our goal is that everyone will find something at the table they can enjoy. At the end of the day, it's our love for the vineyards and our passion for the product that we produce that we hope to share with you. We know the only way to grow is to expand the table, invite more friends in, and make sure you never run out of great wine. Welcome to our table and thanks for joining us.